What's going on, Chosen Vessels? It's your main man, DrewTube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Everybody smash that like button, smash that share button, and smash that subscribe button. Let's go, all right? This one ain't for the weak hearted. Look, as a TI, right, as someone who is sometimes targeted by other individuals for various reasons, all right, even though we rebuke that and we don't see ourselves as victims and we affirm the affirmation we have no enemies, all right, even though we do all those things, I know there are times where you guys have noticed random strangers doing the same thing that they did a month ago or a few weeks ago or something, all right? And this is on a Truman level experience. So a lot of, that's why I said this video is not for the weak hearted. This is more on a psychological level to where people who notice things, strange things happening to them for what seems to be an odd reason or no apparent reason. So if this sounds like this is something that you've experienced or you've gone through this, then stick around because you're not alone. All right, let's enter the Drew Tube zone. Okay, so I noticed um, someone and I felt like it was deja vu when I seen this person because I remember specifically the same thing happening the last time I remember seeing them. Somebody doing what they were doing and they were busy with what they were doing. And when I saw them about a, like about maybe a month ago, cause I have a, I have a very good memory. All right. And I remember seeing this person, they were doing the same thing. They stopped near me, did what they, whatever, whatever. And then that was that. So I remember seeing that this person stopped, did what they did, handled their business, boom, they got out of there, gone. And it's not like it's somebody in a uniform. It's not like it's somebody checking a meter. It's not like it's somebody doing a routine scheduled thing, you know, that person does that every month. Are you okay, young man? Or they check that place every other week, young man. Are you all right up there? No, it's not one of those types of situations. It's like a Truman Show level situation to where when Truman was in the movie and he was explaining to the people, the whole people in the town, and you have to remember that the whole entire town was in on it. The whole entire town was in on that man. All right, excuse the noise. Blah, blah, blah. The whole entire uh, town was in on that man. And no matter who he tried, his own parents were in on him. Think about that. His own parents were in on it. All right. I'm about, I'm about to go watch the Truman Show after this. All right. I swear. But his own parents were in on it. His wife was in on it. His best friend, drinking buddy, was in on it. If you haven't seen the Truman Show, go watch that. All right everybody was in on it and they were trying to keep him away from the girl that actually liked him and that he actually liked. It was like a, a twin flame type of experience. And they had the phony flame who was love bombing. They had the, pho the phony twin flame. That movie is deep. I'm about to do a breakdown on that movie. I ain't going to give y'all too much, but yeah, I'm going to do a breakdown on that movie. All right. And I'm going to do a breakdown on it like nobody's ever done before, okay? And, yeah, it's probably going to be called something very cool and and, and fly, but I, I think I'm going to have to break that movie all the way down, okay? Um, but, yo, everybody was in on it, and they were making him think that there was something wrong with him. He kept seeing the same things. He was like, see, that just happened. And then people were like, what? What are you talking about? And everybody was, even the dog, was trying to get him to not think that he was experiencing what he was experiencing. And when every time he would try to leave, they would try to cause a catastrophe so where he couldn't leave the island. And basically that's that's you trying to get away from 
that type of thinking that they're trying to keep you in. All right. This is why they get angry and they upset because you have a good memory. And that whole movie is similar to that gaslighting film where the guy tries to steal the lady's jewels. Y'all guys, you guys know the whole rundown. He's been moving stuff around the house, turning things on, making it look like that people are moving things or somebody's creeping in the house or it's a ghost or something. And then he's like, are you doing that? And, she, and he's like, no, I'm not. I don't see what you're talking about. So if you didn't know, that's gaslighting. People uh, displaying behaviors around you to make you question your sanity. But then when you question them about it, they tell you you're not uh, going through that or that's not what's happening to you. They're either enablers, they're either gaslighters or full-blown narcissists or they have narcissistic traits. All right. So you can't trust those people, obviously, because the one reason why you can't trust narcissists is because they have zero accountability. There's no holding them accountable. They'll they'll slap you in the face and and then uh, tell you they didn't do it. They'll stab you in the front and in the back and then at the same time and then tell you, what are you talking about? I didn't do it. After you called 911 and the police showed up, they'll be like, it wasn't me. They might and they they would even allow themselves to uh, tell the police no and have to get fingerprints and all these things and all that and then after they'll they'll still get caught and still deny it on the way and they'll be in handcuffs in an orange jumpsuit going into jail get processed for it and everything going away for eighty seven years talking about some I still didn't do it what are you talking about <laughs> that's why you can't get upset at them they'll have you screaming in the courtroom even though they just got locked up for eighty years that's why you can't care about it you care about it you'd be like ah. So don't care about it. So they're upset and angry. You have a good memory. The fact that you know you're not seeing things, the fact that you know you're experiencing these things, it makes them feel scared, makes them feel weak, and it lets them know that their father's plan, the devil's not working. And it lets them know that it's all a sham. It's all a scam. They're they're weak, they're powerless, and they have no souls at all. They have they're soulless, all right? meat suits literally meat suits you walk up to them they get up on you they like they're soulless okay so you have a good memory all right you i'm i'm pretty sure you eat your fruits and vegetables you eat walnuts grains that's why it's good to eat foods associated with the brain that's why it's good to always pray it's always good to focus on mental health as a person who has people behaving oddly around them they call it targeted individual all right there's no fear with using that word all right i just don't want any i just don't want to speak anything into existence or program anybody with a negative thought that's all so as a targeted individual all right it's real and we're protected by god so I have no fear all right as a targeted individual people do strange things around you and they want you to believe that um, that's not what's happening as a way to try to make you question your sanity, but it's because you're highly intelligent. They're threatened by your intelligence. They don't know what you're going to create. They don't know what you're going to make. You may turn the whole world, uh, right side up. Okay. And they might have, they, they might have a problem with that because it doesn't fit with their narrative. They'll lose control. They lose their power. When, when you, uh, bring, when you bring certain truths to, uh, power, when you bring awareness and light to certain, um, certain things that happen, people don't like it because it's like game over. All right. When, when, when you bring awareness to gang stalking and to, um, to Truman show esque activities, it's like blowing the whistle. Certain people don't like that because it's like a child and you took their video game away. They're like, wah, wah, give me back my controller. All right. Because they want control. They want to play the game. And, but they want others to act like the game's not being played. They, they, they just want full control. And this is why they have a disorder. They want full control over you. They want you to accept that control. They want you to bow down, let them deteriorate you mentally, let them break your spirit. And you're just supposed to be okay with it. But it's, it's like that because you're better than them. You have an anointing, you're chosen and that's just what they see for you. That's what they would like for you. That's what they want your fate to be. And when people display behaviors like that, you know that they're, they uh, are evil. You know that they're um, routine watchers. And there's nothing we can change about that. There's nothing we can do about that. So we're going to continue to eat healthy. 
We're going to continue to work on ourselves. We're going to continue to remain highly intelligent because the more intelligence we gain, the more threat we pose. All right. The more angry they're going to be, the more angry they're going to be, they're going to have the health problems. They're going to be stressed. They want to project all those things to others, other people, you know, but like I said, you have a good memory. You're not seeing things. These people want you to question your sanity and they want you to place yourself into a resort. All right. They want you to go on a vacation. Mm -hmm. They want you to go on a vacation where you may not come back from. And like I said, it's because you pose a threat to them. Something that you represent um, goes against something that they stand for, whether they're in a cult, whether they have extreme beliefs, whether um, they just have some type of hate, some type of disdain for you, your character, what you represent. But don't, there, there's no fear and don't be threatened at all. All right. And know that you you have a good memory. When um, when it comes down to spiritual warfare, people will try to make you question your reality, but it's because you're smart and you may not understand why you're that smart. You may not understand the level of intelligence that you truly possess, but to handle all that they throw at you and to be able to get through that to still be able to maintain your sanity, to still be able to find peace within all of that. You're, 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 you have a, a super bionic brain and your brain is like doing mental gymnastics every day. You have run-ins with these individuals and every day, they, uh, every day you have experiences with these people. And the more that you are interacting with them and the more that you are, the more that you realize that you do have a good memory, they're not going to be able to gaslight you. The more that you realize, wait a minute, they did just do that. So it is good to record things if they're happening a lot. It is good to write things down if they're happening a lot. If some things are happening and it's strange and you do notice it, if it's like got some space in between it, that is weird. You still did notice it. But if it's not enough to where it becomes... A threat if it's just something that you've noticed just take a mental note of it that's okay for it's for your sanity and for your mental health it's something that did happen it's something weird that someone did and you don't need to have to find an explanation for it you don't have to try to figure out why but one thing that you have to do is realize that that happened and no you're not making that up it doesn't matter who's not going to believe you it doesn't matter who's not going to um, believe what you're saying because I've went to authorities and tried to explain certain things and show footage. Half the time, they really aren't interested in what you have to say or your footage. They really don't care. They tell you to present it to a judge or take it to the court of law because within within certain groups, there's those same things happening. And it's basically, like I said in the beginning of the video or in the middle of the video, wherever I was talking about accountability, accountability means that when you do something wrong, you will take accountability for your actions. And that's why they are demonic. And that's why they're, they're uh, children of the devil, because the father, the devil is the father of lies. And as being the father of lies, a, a, a seed of the devil would do something demonic and then not be honest about it. You can't expect Satan's children to be honest or to to agree with you or about demonic activity. They're going to ignore it and they're going to act like it doesn't exist. It's like the same thing when you're at work and you're trying to tell your employer that the evil the, that evil person at the job is causing issues and it's basically like the employer I'm saying I've never seen that side of them evil people will gaslight you because they're uh, angry at you your intelligence it threatens them and they're angry at you you can't expect these people to can't expect these people to be honest to you about what you're experiencing and that's one thing you're going to have to accept when it comes to dealing with um making people angry because you're highly intelligent all right and 
just re just realize that you have a good memory and you can't change the fact that you're making these people angry. All right, you can't change the fact that these make you're making these people angry, but you are aware that what they're doing is happening. All right, so as long as you know that happened, you don't have to try to prove. You don't have to try to convince. You don't have to try to make anybody agree with you. All right, because you can't change the fact that other people aren't going to acknowledge your experience. That's very frustrating. That's very, very, very frustrating. But once you get over that, I feel this video will help a lot of people if they're dealing with that. Not being able to accept the fact that people aren't going to take heed to what you're saying. All right, authorities aren't going to want to listen. Nobody's going to want to listen. Your family's not going to want to listen. They're not going to care. And a lot of times when people don't care, when you're trying to explain to them what you're going through or what you're experiencing, it's because they're the same type of people. That's why I said narcissists don't take accountability. Devils don't take accountability. All right, they're the uh, children of the father of lies. So when they're doing evil works, when you try to call them out on their evil works, they're going to tell you that they don't know what you're talking about. It's a deflective tactic, and they'll do that because they don't care. They're enjoying your misery. They're enjoying your uh, misfortune. They're enjoying uh, your mental torment, the psychological abuse, the psychological uh, um, harassment that they're doing and how they're they're bothering your mind and they're they're cool with that you know they feel that they could just play games with a person's mind and continue to um make you try to feel a certain way and they they have fun with that they enjoy that that's something that um that's something that they take pride in doing because someone put in the comments the other day shout out to the person who put that in the comments um the devil's children, they take um, they take sport and games and negativity. So whatever evil deeds they do to you, whatever um, harassment, whatever, um, what's the word, whatever, um, whatever they're trying to do, whatever they're trying to, um, however they're trying to affect you, that makes them feel good. All right. So when you try to tell people that this isn't happening, they're going to ignore it because they want it to continue. They like how you're being affected by it. That's why you have to work on you. You really have to work on yourself because these people aren't going to accept what they're doing and they're not going to want to, they're not going to care about how it affects you, okay? So just know that you, you did experience that and you don't have to prove it to anyone. Keep, keep your logs, keep writing things down, keep videotaping things, doing things that make you feel comfortable. And eventually just keep, keep trusting God, keep your faith in God and know that eventually there will be a lawyer. There will be someone to take your case. There will be someone to listen to you. Uh, pray that someone sees it, pray that someone, uh, an angel will come out and help you because somebody, somebody sees what you're going through. They may be afraid to speak up. They may not understand it they may not be saying anything about it there are people that are witnessing what you're going through and pray and ask God to have some of those people come into your life because what's happening to you is happening you're not experiencing things and when people think it's okay to try to play psychological warfare on your mind then you have to play psychological warfare back by tricking them into thinking that what they're doing has no effect on you, but you're not really tricking them. You're actually just working on yourself, just showing them that you're unbothered, basically. And as you continue to work on yourself, you're, you're not even going to have to show them it's, that's just what you're going to be. You're just going to be unbothered. So knowing that you, like I said, that's why I always bring it back to knowing that you have a good memory, no matter what type of warfare they want to wage on your mind, you know that, wait a minute. This is something that's happening. I, I don't have to second guess this self. I don't have to ask anybody about it. I don't have to talk to anybody about it. Let me just continue to write things down, record things, and take my logs, write the date, write the time. And just to just as a confirmation for yourself, 
because trying to talk to people, trying to convince people that something's happening to you, that people don't believe you or just don't care, that's going to wear you out. That's going to get tiring. And a lot of people, believe it or not, there a lot of people are in on it. Like I said, the whole Truman movie, they how they were doing him, how how he was being harassed in his neighborhood and how they was following him around and stuff like that. And when nobody believed in him, that cars was following him and he kept seeing the same bus at the same time and all these things. All right. Nobody was believing what dude was saying. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was believing that. And when nobody believes that, it can be frustrating. So when nobody believes when, what people are doing to you that you're targeted, don't take that personal. Because you do have a good memory and people are bothered by it and it, it, may, it makes them angry. And that's why they do the stalking. That's why they follow you. That's why they're watching you. All that, all right? Because your intelligence is making them angry. They haven't been able to take you out yet. All right? They haven't been able to take you out yet. They haven't been able to put you down. Even if they came close, you could pray that away. Even if they came so close, they almost had you. Guess what? Your God saved you. Your God got you out of that. All right? Even if they feel like they had you at one point and they're they're about to break you down, you're about to rise up. It's all about what you tell yourself, all about praying, all about talking to God. He's there to listen. He's there for you. Always talk to him. Always go to him. Always pray. Always be working on yourself. Always be doing research on how to better your mind, on how to strengthen your mind, on how to become more peaceful, all right? on how to stay more, san- uh, stay more sane when it comes to uh, stalking all right? and psychological warfare. And I'll be talking a lot more about that on this channel. So please stay tuned. All right. As we all know, this video has come to a close. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, If you'd like to make a donation to my channel, I would uh, appreciate it. All right. Uh, I got the cash app and I got my PayPal in the description. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Smash that subscribe button. This has been another DrewTube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out.